Hello, I'm Stamp, and welcome back to more Dragon Quest XI. Let's continue the game. Here. Here's what happened so far. Stamp and Gemma, firm friends since being born on the very same day, have both come of age at last. They set out to climb cobblestone tor together and offer their prayers to the spirit of the land in the age-old ceremony of their people. After reaching the top, they offer up their prayers and head back down to the bottom, where they tell Mayor Dunstan of the spectacular sights they saw. Upon hearing this, Dunstan explains that the purpose of the ceremony is to show to them the breathtaking breadth of Erdria. Now that he has come of age, the mayor tells Stamp to return home to his mother Amber and tell her of his experience atop the Thor. Alright. Welcome back, Stamp. I trust you had a peaceful respite. I did. Thank you. May the mighty forces of benevolence watch over and protect this poor child. Amen. That was nice. Cobblestone. Let me just check something. Okay, everything looks good. Alright, let's talk to her. Nice. Can I talk to you about something else? Uh, no. Okay. Oh. Antidoto herb. Antidoto. Oh, Gemma is with us. Brilliant. Yeah, we have read this before. What about you? Huh. Uh, let me do something here. Camera. Let's disable the automatic. Follow. Alright. There's a horse. Oh. We can pet the horse. That's nice. Alright. What's over here? More barrels. Coin. Let's check here. Stable and more horses. Oops. Good boy. Good boy. Look at my lovely horse. Your horse is amazing. He's the loveliest horse in the whole village. Notice to parents, the Thor isn't safe for children. Please make sure they know not to play there. Yeah. Okay, here's the guy we talked to before.
What's up here? I can't run up ladders. So this is the faster that I can climb. Apparently. Oh, some pots. A seed of agility. Permanently increases agility by a little? It's pretty good. I'm gonna wait on using that. I can't do anything with those crates. No, don't. No, 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 no. Um, there's nothing here. Okay. What about here? Hmm. I can't see any secrets. Oh, more horses. It's showing contently on a great big mouthful of grass. I'm afraid my horses don't have a lot of get up and go at the minute. At the minute, they're too busy enjoying this delicious grass. Mm -mm. Looks that way. Let's see, here's where we came from. And we gotta talk to these people. Yggdrasil. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to. Huh. It sure looks special. A curious power emanates from the root wrapped around the wrapped around the tree. The tree. Hmm. Uh, let's see, where do I want to go? I know where I have to go, but I don't want to go there yet. I want to explore first. Can't jump the fence. The small one you can. Uh, all right, let's go here. This door is locked tight. There's a path up, and here's behind the store. Two gold coins, so 
some children playing. I love playing in the water. There. Hello. Heliodor. Always something going on there. Always bristling with people, and the shops are full of all kinds of lovely things. Not like boring old cobblestone. I see. Oh, look at this guy. Alright, a little bird told me you and your mate Gemma went to the top of the tower and back. You went a little boy no more, Stamp. You're a man. So here's some advice. From one bloke to another. Whatever you're doing. Whatever you're doing, enjoy it. No one knows how long they've got, so make the most of it. Damn. Alright. What's around here? I think I've been here. Yes. I have. Let's talk to her. Och Ochalki. Hmm. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. I did not mean to do that. Hmm. So far, no secrets. I've talked to you. Uh, let's see. I'm guessing that's my house. No, that's my house. Newer grown up, newest grown ups. Now, here's a secret. Finally, it's only a medicinal herb, but. It's better than nothing. And another one. Another one. A cy cypress stick? Amateur etymologist. Hmm. Attack plus seven. Attack plus 12. What does that E mean? Does it mean my combine uh, natural stats plus the, the item stats? So I must have 12 attack by myself. I think it means it's equipped. So if I equip this... Oh, I can't. I see. <sighs> okay, let's go in here. Dunstan. Now that you've climbed the tower, I'm pleased to say that you and Gemma are, f are fully fledged cobblestonians. Settle down together <laughs> and live happily ever after. Granddad, honestly.
Oh, there's a ladder. Let's climb it. Of course. Hmm. Nice view of the city, the town, I mean. All right. Let's avoid going home for now. I uh, don't want to go there yet. Let's go up here. See what's up here. Woof woof. Oh, maybe that's my home. Oh yeah. That's probably it. Uh let's go back here then and speak to those guys. Welcome to the club. <laughs> My hero stamp. I'm glad to. <laughs> and what's up here? Interesting. So lovely and safe. <laughs> oh, come on, please. Nope. Guess not. Not even here? Oh. Okay. Uh, let's go this way then. More pots. Look at him. Just ready to eat. A horse. <laughs> Very grown up. So apparently I, I already have a horse. Tour the horse. The question of young and old. For the longest time, I simply could not understand what all the fuss was about horses. To me, they always seemed such skittish and dangerous animals. But all that changed when I was finally convinced to ride one. Such grace, such speed. I was speechless. What a fool I'd been for all these years, refusing to even entertain the idea of riding, riding one. In the way my faithful steed rushes to my aid at the moment I ring this, the bell, no matter where I am in Erdria. It moves me near enough to tears every time. Such loyalty, such nobility. Wow. Long live the horses. <laughs> I dare not imagine a life without one. Now, those heavily hoofbeats have clip-clopped their way into my heart. Okay. That, that was nice. Kind of adorable. Okay, we came from here. Let's go this way. Here we go. Um, okay. 
And there's another thing on the top of... I think that's our house. Other house next to ours. Anyway. Hello, good people. Young, single, and free. <laughs> great days. Great days. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, that's not good. Okay, so that's both houses. So there's only two houses left. There's Sandy. Woof woof. Oh, chickens. Nice, some treasures. Flurry feather. 50 gold coins. Plucked from a great big bird. Oops. <laughs> I didn't press the button. Oh, come on. I want to try it, at least. Ah, okay. I'm just gonna give it up. It's not worth the time spent. Okay. So I'm guessing Sandy's trying to tell me that this is my home. Let's go in here. Woof woof. All right, that's everything. Yeah. Let's go. Oh. Here's my little soldier. Well, not so little anymore. I've heard all about your big adventure. Look at you all grown up. I hope he wasn't too much of a bother, Gemma dear. <laughs> of course not. Quite the opposite, in fact. You would have been proud of him. We got attacked by a monster at the top of the tour, and I ended up hanging onto the edge of the cliff by my fingertips. I thought I was done for. But you'll never guess what happened next. That mark on his hand suddenly lit up, and a bolt of lightning hit the monster. What did you say? That funny little mark? Lightning flying about the place? Goodness me. Here I was hoping he'd turn out nice and ordinary, but it seems his grandfather was right all along. Hmm. Well, I've been putting this off for long enough now. You and me need to have a little talk. Here. This belongs to you. Oh, 
Huh. Your grandfather asked me to give you it once you'd come of age and climbed the tour. Okay, so that guy, the mayor, is not our grandfather. Apparently our grandfather is not around anymore. Um, that's unfortunate. The truth is, there's something I've been keeping a secret all these years. Something I've never told another soul in the village. It's... how can I put this now? Um, well, he said your 